Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Stadium Stories. With two red cards, 10 other players got booked. It summed up the chaotic afternoon between Brentford and Aston Villa yesterday. It was the home side that took the lead before Moreno equalized for Villa. Watkins then scored a brilliant header near the end of the match to secure a win for the away team. The game was full of action, but it was rather controversial. It started off with Ben Mee's lunging tackle, which resulted in a sending off. Then on the 85th minute, Ollie Watkins scored the winning goal and walked towards the net and started pointing his finger in the direction of a home fan. The celebration from the 27-year-old sparked a scuffle, which needed the referee and other players on both sides to intervene. But the antics didn't stop there, with Villa goalkeeper Emiliano Martinez and Brentford forward Neil Malpe at the heart of it. At the 90th minute, the ball went out on the Villa side, and the French striker ran towards the ball to take a quick corner, then bumped his shoulder into Martinez, who dropped onto the floor theatrically and started rolling around. A few minutes later the two had another dispute, the Argentine walked past Malpe and gave him a little push at the back, this time around, it was the Frenchman who overreacted to the shove and went to ground. Martinez was having none of this, he then tried to drag Malpe from the floor by his shirt. Two Brentford players came to confront the Villa keeper, and it turned into complete chaos, with more than half of the team on both sides being booked or sent off. Let's take a look at the incidents. That's all for today. What do you think of the Martinez and Malpe incident? Let me know in the comments section below. Until next time, stay safe.